Welcome to Fast Tracks Academy. In this cashier training video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the time clock. Before we begin, please note the design of your POS panels, the modules you can access, and the overall standard operating procedure of your company may vary. So if you have any questions, please refer to your store management for further information. First thing we're going to do here is we are going to log into our POS. Your system advisor should have provided you with a login credentials. You'll go ahead and click use keypad and enter your employee ID and your password. Once we open up into the system, we see our time clock in the upper left hand corner here, and we have three buttons. We can view our schedule. We click on that button. We will see two weeks worth of schedule. We can print this up on a receipt printer or a back office printer. We can also see our existing details from previous entries. We can see the last seven, 14 or 30 days total. A list of your hours in and out will show here, the dates that you worked and how long you worked those shifts. You do have the ability to print this out as well. And finally, before we start our shift for the day, we all need to clock in. So what we're going to do is we're going to click clock in here. It is going to ask us for our ID once more. You do not have to be the person logged in to clock in. Anybody can clock in at this point. You will see that it also shows us our details. 7, 14 and 30 days. We can see our schedule from here as well, just as before. And we're going to hit clock in. From here, we select which type of entry we wish to use. By default, you will see standard sick, vacation, holiday, and other, but your organization may have added additional options to choose from. Make sure to select the proper entry type. Once we click OK, go ahead and see this message. The employee has clocked in successfully, hit close, and now we are ready to begin our activities for the day. To clock out, same as when we clocked in, except we hit clock out. If your fingerprint is already registered, you can bypass entering the employee ID and password and hit the fingerprint button where you'll be able to apply your fingerprint to the fingerprint reader and it will take your clock as well. We can see our current shift here, clocked in. We're gonna go ahead and clock out. It shows that we have clocked out successfully and we will hit close. Once we do that, you will see it will bring us right back to the login screen.